Mini versus Mini Sketchbook. Is this new iPad Mini my new go-to sketchbook? It's a mobile digital sketch studio. You can take it anywhere. The new, new iPad, iPad Mini. Hey, it's Brandon here from Artismia, and today's video is about the new iPad Mini, the sixth generation one that just came out this past September 2021. So I see a lot of videos out there that focus on the tech side of new devices. And if you want to see a video that talks about all the specifications, you know, like the 8.3 display, the new form factor design, the A15 chip, and the more RAM, you should probably go watch one of those videos because this video is going to focus on the new, the new iPad, iPad Mini versus Mini Sketchbook. Sketchbook. Artistic Art Battles of Artismia! Here you can see I am using a Strathmore 4 inch by 6 inch mini sketchbook with regular surface 80 pound paper, a single 6B ebony pencil, and no eraser. With a time limit of 30 minutes, I will be drawing a portrait of an awesome photo found at earthsworld.com or earthsworld on Instagram. And now for the digital version using the new iPad Mini. Yeah, yeah, I know it's just another video about digital versus traditional, but if I titled it digital versus traditional, would you have clicked on it? Here I am using the Procreate app. The brush is 6B pencil. The brush size is mostly limited to 18% with a pressure setting of 65%. The canvas size is set to the default screen size. The eraser was used only in the preliminary layout sketching. Zooming was prohibited and time was limited to 30 minutes or less. So which one won? You decide. So I've had this iPad now for seven days and I gotta say, I really, really, really enjoy this device. It is very cool to hold in one hand and draw on. The fact that it is so mobile and you can carry it with you anywhere is just very, very cool to me. With all the new upgrades to the new iPad mini, the ability to use the second generation Apple Pencil is pretty awesome. I have not noticed any issues with lagging or inaccuracies which has a lot to do with hardware and optimized software like Procreate. The experience of drawing on this iPad with an Apple Pencil feels no different than any other new iPad I have worked on, except for it being a smaller screen with slightly less area to work with. I do use an iPad Pro, and while the iPad Pro screen is technically better, this screen is pretty great. Just don't compare them side by side, because you might notice the difference in refresh rates. Now I know I said this is going to be a video about the iPad mini versus a mini sketchbook, but the truth is that it's pretty ridiculous. So really, it's about the experience and end results of drawing on these two forms of media. Now drawing on the iPad is much easier. Undo, redo, zoom, copy, paste, duplicate, every variation of brushes, textures, sizes, shapes, tools, erasers. It's almost overwhelming all the options that are available. Which is another reason why I like the iPad mini. It almost feels more simplified and focused, with less emphasis on all the other things it can do. Just like a mini sketchbook, something that you can pick up quickly and sketch your ideas or thoughts down on. So which one won? You decide. Well, it's been two weeks now since getting the iPad mini and I gotta say the excitement, well, you know, after 14 days, it should be diminished, but it's not. I still find it to be exciting and new and fresh and just fun to use. Speaking of fun, here's something fun I like to do. I take a photo of a drawing that I just did with my iPad mini. Then I open a new canvas in Procreate. I insert that photo onto the canvas and adjust the size to fit. This is a great way to utilize traditional and digital media together. After adding an additional new layer, I then add color and paint over the sketch. Now Procreate has a great feature which allows you to use a floating window with your reference photo. Even though there is limited screen space on this iPad mini, I still found this feature to be useful. Of course, you could use the split screen iOS option also. Here is a close up of the exported time lapse created by Procreate App. 
Remember, this is the default screen size of 1488 by 2260. And because it has the new chipset and additional RAM compared to the previous model, you still have the option to work with many layers. For this digital painting, I used the round brush and tried to keep the size and pressure settings the same throughout the entire process. Now I did this in order to make the final look more painterly and impressionistic, with the intention of seeing brush strokes and unblended colors. <laughs> so of course, everybody wants to know, how long does it take to make this painting? Well, this one took about one and a half hours, so 90 minutes. Well, now it's been three weeks that I've been using the iPad Mini 6. And while I am quite fond of it, it is what it is. And what I mean by that is, it's a mini iPad. A fully featured, lightweight, portable mini iPad that can be held in one hand that serves many purposes. And whatever that purpose is, well, that depends on the individual that's using it. You know, it can be a convenient sketch pad, a full-blown drawing and painting studio, a tool for content creation, and of course, leisure activities like watching YouTube and gaming. I did originally set out to compare a mini iPad to a mini sketchbook, but that's kind of ridiculous. The iPad is capable of so much more than what a stack of multiple sheets of paper bound together can do. But even with that in mind, I will always prefer traditional over digital, simply because it's traditional, it's tangible, it exists in the real world, and it's what I like to do. So which one do you prefer? Which one won? Digital or traditional? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.